now in this uh, how to let us learn how to disable the dates of other month you might have scenario where you want to disable the dates of other month so that user will not be able to select any date that that fall into the other in, into the other month so in the, in that case what we can do is that we can uh, we can use the same on day render event and in on day render event we can look for is other month property so let's see here so here on day re render event we are uh, attaching the render days uh, method and in that render days method is using the day render event argument we are checking for e dot day dot is other month property if is other month property will be true it means that that particular date exists in the or fall in the other month then we can uh, uh, we can set the is selectable is equal to false that will make that particular date not selectable so i am going to uh, run this page and you can see that all my dates that falls into other month and not in the current month is not selectable you can see that one two three four that is exist in other month not in the month of may and here 24 to 30 is not in the may month so all those are not selectable however all the dates that fall into this current month from 1 to till 31st is falling into this uh, uh, this month and when i'm clicking on any of the link of that particular date that the date is getting selected so using uh, is e dot day dot is other month property <coughs> we can uh, check if the date falls into other month and if it falls then you can set the is selectable property equal to false that will uh, make that uh, date not selectable now you might find some scenario where you need to determine if a particular date is a weekend or it is a two days date in so in order to determine that kind of dates uh, from the calendar control we can again use on day render event so let me show you here so here is my code snippet and uh, in this calendar uh, control we are using the we are firing the on day render event and we are attaching uh, render day event uh, method now now let us create the day render event in the code behind so here is my day render event in the code behind and in order to determine if a particular date is today's date we can uh, we, we can use is today uh, property so e dot a day dot is today if it is true it means that the current date is today's date and it will uh, it will add one literal control into that and it's it will uh, add today's date in that particular cell and we can again use if you were to determine the uh, weekend then we can use e dot day dot is weekend if that is weekend is true it means that the current date that is rendering is <coughs> weekend so we are uh, going to write in the green color weekend now let us see that uh, uh, in, in this demonstration you can see that when this uh, uh, calendar control is rendering it is uh, writing today's date is 6th may so it is writing today's date because uh, we are checking for e is today is equal to 2 then we are writing uh, in the brown color we are writing today's date so that's what is being written here and if it is a weekend in this case weekend is sunday or saturday then it will write a weekend just below that particular date so you can see that using each today we can determine the today's date using each weekend we can determine the weekend date of the calendar control